Did you see that shot? Oh god. That was literally a knee shot. What is up gamers, M107 here and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is about the recently nerfed weapon, the G428 DMR, which was supposed to be nerfed big time, but from what I've seen so far, this thing is now a medium range DMR. I mean, the close range capabilities are almost gone, but it still packs a punch in medium range. We're gonna go over the best attachments for the weapon as well, so stick around till the end and let's begin. Now DICE claims that it fits into the short range DMR category and some people, including some of the content creators, are acting as if they have no clue what a short range DMR is. But we've had this category since Battlefield 3 as far as I can remember, and to be more relevant, in Battlefield 4 we've got the SKS and the Mark 11 Mod Zero, which are both close to medium range DMRs with high rate of fire. They obviously deal less damage compared to most of the DMRs, but their high rate of fire makes them deadly in close range. That's the definition of a close range DMR. The only problem with the G428 and DICE claiming it's a close range weapon is the fire rate. When you nerf a weapon to be fitted in the close range DMR category, that weapon needs a relatively high rate of fire compared to other DMRs to be able to stand out in its intended row. For the G428, that's unfortunately not the case and I believe you can't put it in that category. Now because of the small magazine size when using high power ammunition, you're gonna have some hard time trying to hit targets at longer ranges, especially if they're not standing still. So what I think is that the G428 is best suited for nothing but medium range. Something around 40 to 60 meters at most, and it's gonna be a monster. And because it has close to zero bullet drop, you won't even have to kinda compensate for targets that are just a bit further. I mean, just put it to test for yourself. No bullet drop. It's like a freaking laser gun or something. I do believe using the high power ammunition will give you the edge most of the time, but if you want to use the standard issue, just don't use the basic standard issue magazine and wait for it to unlock the extended standard issue, which is a 20 round magazine and use that. It's going to be way better for you because standard issue just deals less damage and you're going to need way more bullets to kill people, especially from ranges. So I recommend you just use the high power ammunition and stick with it and if you want to use standard issue just use the extended one because that 20 round magazine just boosts your performance when engaging with targets regardless of the combat range because you've got 20 rounds you have no problem with spreading bullets down range and that's going to be way better for you and one thing that you kind of need to be always aware of when playing an fps game in general and especially when playing a dmr like the g428 which can only perform its best in a limited range is positioning. You need to be actively thinking about being in a position that kind of provides you the intended range and allows you to use the maximum potential of your weapon. If I want to put it in a very simple way, I'd say try not to get so close to the combat zone where you actually die to someone with an assault rifle and try not to be so far away that a sniper has the advantage over you. Be in a range where you're stronger than anyone else. And about the weapon, I don't think it's balanced yet, it sure needs more rate of fire if DICE wants me to believe that they intended to make a close range DMR and not an OP weapon just because it's a new one to encourage people to come and test it. And no, it's not going to be overpowered. If you guys have ever played Battlefield 4, which most of you have probably, the SKS had a ridiculously high rate of fire, probably twice as most of the DMRs in that game. And nobody complained about it being OP because its role was clear. Close range accurate combat. Its damage output was less than most of its counterparts and so to compensate for that, and to give meaning to its intended role, it needed high rate of fire. Simple as that. And so I believe that the G428 also needs an increase in rate of fire, even if it means that they decrease the maximum damage and damage per range, so be it. That's the definition of a close range DMR in Battlefield when you look back at its best titles. Now let's take a look at the attachments. For muzzle, I recommend either stick to the factory barrel or just use a champion muzzle break because the gun's got some vertical recoil as all DMRs should have with no horizontal recoil, meaning that using the champion muzzle brake literally has no downside, it simply just reduces your vertical recoil and the horizontal recoil penalty means nothing. For the underbarrel attachment, I recommend going with either the Cobra grip or the LWG grip, which depends heavily on your playstyle. If you tend to move a lot while shooting, just go with the LWG, and if you stand still while shooting, which is more common when playing a DMR, then just use the Cobra grip. You can also use a bipod if you want to go all out tactical and be stationary, which I don't recommend for this weapon for obvious reasons. Whatever you use, just keep in mind that lasers tend to improve hip fire accuracy, which has almost zero value for a DMR. So just forget about laser sights and go with something to improve accuracy based on your playstyle. 
For weapon sights, because we're discussing a medium range DMR, I would recommend going with something with three to four times magnification as your primary scope, like the M22 3.5, and have an optional two or 2.5 times for when you engage with nearby targets, something like TV2X or T4 Thermal. That way you can quickly switch between them whenever need be. And for the ammunition, I personally didn't find the standard issue to be as useful as the high power in almost any given scenario, and to be honest, it doesn't make sense. The standard issue doesn't increase your fire rate in a noticeable way, it's going to increase it from 250 to 280, which is not a worthwhile trade in my opinion. It provides less damage, meaning you will be in a disadvantage even in close ranges. The only advantage is having 10 more rounds at max, which doesn't really matter as far as they deal less damage. So. I suggest you go with the high power or the extended standard issue, try to get good with the weapon to the point where you miss the minimum amount of shot possible and you're good to go. And so I see a lot of people playing the G428 right now even after the nerf. If you are one of them, tell me what keeps you playing and how you think people should play this weapon if you disagree with any of the points in this video. It's not the end, I've got some gameplay with the weapon so stay here and enjoy that as well. Hope it was helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with a friend. Until next time, stay cool. Not this dude. <laughs>
deals a lot of damage when you're playing with a high power ammunition. So go ahead and try that. Oh, my bad. Did you see that shot? Oh god. That was literally a knee shot. Ah, oh, he was he was very lucky. Ah, oh, that was close. Got lucky there, but that was also nice. Come on, show yourself. 